Mao Dafu It is said that Mao Dafu, a native of Taihong, is a doctor who specializes in treating sores. One day, when he was returning from medical practice, he met a wolf on the road with a small package in his mouth. When he saw Mao Dafu, he vomited the package on the ground and squatted on the roadside. Mao Dafu picked it up and saw several pieces of gold jewelry wrapped inside. Just as he was surprised, the wolf jumped forward and jumped for joy, gently pulled the corner of Mao Dafu's clothes with his mouth, and walked away. Just as Mao Dafu was about to leave, the wolf came back and grabbed the clothes, as if asking him to follow it. Mao sensed that the wolf meant no harm and followed it. After a while, I came to a cave and saw a wolf lying sick on the ground. A closer look showed that there was a big sore on the top of the wolf's head, which was rotten and infested with maggots. Mao Dafu immediately understood what the wolf meant, so he carefully removed the maggots from the sick wolf, applied medicine, and then walked back. At this time, it was already late, and the wolf followed him far away. After walking three or four miles, they encountered a few more wolves roaring to attack Mao Dafu. Mao was very frightened. When he was in danger, the wolf that was following him hurriedly ran over. He seemed to say something to the wolves, and the wolves dispersed, allowing Mao Dafu to return safely. Before this, a banker named Ningtai was killed on the road in the county where Mao Dafu was located. The murderer was never caught. It happened that Mao Dafu was selling the gold jewelry he got from the wolf, and the Ning family recognized it as belonging to Ningtai and turned him away to the county government. Mao Dafu told the story about the origin of the jewelry, but the county magistrate didn't believe him and tortured him. Mao Dafu was so unjustly accused that he could not defend himself, so he had to plead with the county magistrate to let him question the wolf. The county magistrate then sent two officials to escort Mao Dafu into the mountains and go straight to the cave to look for the wolf. The wolf did not come back, and when it got dark it was nowhere to be seen, so the three of them had no choice but to return. Halfway through, he met two wolves, one of which still had a scar on its head. Mao Dafu recognized it at once, bowed to it and said, I was thanked for your gift to me last time, but now I have been wrong because of those gifts. I'm aggrieved, if you don't defend me, Zhao Xu, I will be beaten to death after you go with me. Seeing that Mao Dafu was tied up, the wolf angrily rushed towards the officer, who quickly pulled out his knife to resist. When the wolf saw this, he raised his mouth to the ground and howled loudly. Just after barking two or three times, hundreds of wolves emerged from the mountains, and circled around the government officials. The Yemen servants were trapped and greatly embarrassed. The scarred wolf jumped forward and bit the rope holding the fur. The officer understood the wolf's intention and reluctantly let go of Mao Dafu, and the wolves left together. After returning, the Yemen officer told what happened. The county magistrate was deeply surprised, but he did not release Mao Fufu immediately. A few days later, the county magistrate went on a patrol and saw a wolf holding a broken shoe in its mouth and placing it on the road. The magistrate walked over, and the wolf picked up the shoe again, ran forward, and put it on the ground again. The county magistrate was very surprised and ordered him to put away his shoes, and then the wolf left. After returning, the county magistrate ordered people to secretly investigate the owner of the shoes. Some people say that there was a firewood collector in a certain village who was chased by two wolves in the mountains, and their shoes were taken away. The county magistrate detained the firewood collector to identify the shoes, and it turned out they were indeed his. So he suspected that this person must be the murderer of Banker Ning Tai. After interrogation, it turned out to be true. It turned out that the firewood collector killed Ning Tai, robbed a huge amount of gold and escaped before he could find the gold jewelry Ning Tai had hidden in his clothes. As a result, the jewelry was taken away by the wolf, and this strange thing happened. Once upon a time, a midwife returned from a trip and met a wolf waiting on the road. He grabbed her clothes and seemed to ask her to follow. The midwife followed the wolf to a place and saw a female wolf having difficulty giving birth. The midwife massaged her hard until the cub was born and then the wolf let her go back. The next day, the wolf took the venison in his mouth 
and put it in the midwife's yard as a reward. It can be seen that this kind of thing has happened frequently since ancient times. All right, this story has come to an end. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.